Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And I'm gonna be talking to you about a movie I watched recently called uh, Killer Joe. Now it's a 2011 release. And it was directed by William Friedkin, who as you know, directed, he's known for uh, directing The Exorcist and The Exorcist 3. And I'm sure he's he's done many more projects down the road. I'm gonna get right into this movie, uh, right into the details and tell you my personal thoughts about it. But first consider subscribing to the channel. We're on our way to 400 subscribers. I know we can get there. Uh, I need your help doing that. From the moment you meet all our characters, you feel this sense of dread, the sense of filthiness. And that's exactly what this movie was going for, I think. You meet this trailer park family. Our, our lead, One of our lead characters, played by Emil Hirsch, is uh, Chris. Comes up with this plot in which if we kill our, our, our mother, who he hates, by the way, uh, we'll get her life insurance, therefore we'll be rich. There's a guy named Joe who's a hitman. He hires him and everything just goes haywire from that moment on. This movie goes along with that saying of Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. That's exactly it here. And we're introduced to Matthew McConaughey's character. I think this is one of his best performances to date, honestly. He plays Joe. He's a Dallas, Texas a uh, police officer by day and he's a hitman by night. Can you believe that? Cold-hearted, silent, the silent type. It just wants to, you know, get down to the nitty and gritty. Hey, if you're going to pay me to do this, I'm going to do this my way. It's my way or the highway. Honestly, don't give a crap about the characters because all of their stupid decision making. But that's, that's the whole... You know vibe of this movie I feel like this movie doesn't take you by the hand this takes you this movie grabs you by the throat Emil Hirsch I th hate this guy he has this gambling debt he owes these locals a lot of money and he's desperate he's like, this movie is dark at times it's ruthless in in certain moments and it's supposed to make you feel icky and it does it does that well there are moments where I felt like uh, it was kind of artsy. There are sequences in which uh, one scene transitions to another, but we see flashes of lightning um, and in between that transition. And the finale is just bonkers. Um, if you haven't experienced this movie, do check it out, but not with the kiddos. It's definitely it's a hard rated R movie. Eventually, everything goes wrong. Matthew McConaughey doesn't get his money in the movie resulting in a big finale confrontation between him, Joe, and the son. And it's violent. It's it's a violent ending. This movie just sticks with you. It sticks with you for all the wrong reasons, but that's it that's its point. It makes it makes you feel, you know, disgusted in a way. But I do recommend the film. I'm giving it a A minus. Go ahead and check out this movie. It's available now on Tubi. Uh, look out for more content very soon, guys. Take care.